Hey guys, if you haven't guessed it, we're finally here. We're finally set up. We are on Q Lake for the first time. I've been waiting for this for quite a while. And I'm on, I'm in the peg, the rods are out. Let's see if we can make it happen. As always guys, please, 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 if you do like the video, please do hit that subscribe button down there. And you know, if you do like the video or you have any comments on my video, you know, hit the thumbs up button or leave me a comment and say, you know, you could have done this or you could have done that. Have you tried this? You know, I'm all down for, you know, getting um, tips and, you know, constructive criticism from, you know, you guys that are viewing this. Um, I got a good response from people on my last M Lake video. You know, I said I was changing things up a little bit. Uh, if you haven't seen that, definitely check that out up top. And yeah, so please do hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and if you just hit the bell notification next to it, whenever I release a new video, whether it be a review, a session, you know, a tutorial, anything like that, um, you'll be able to stay up to date with that and you'll get notified. Um, and yeah, let's go. Um, just got down here, uh, turned up probably about 10 to 10 to 12, um, pegs time starts at 12 and just borrowed all my kit, got set up because the weather is meant to be, you know, pretty grim. Uh, got up this morning and it was absolutely bucketing it down. Um, I am absolutely drenched and that's not from the rain, that's from sweating, getting all the stuff, you know, round to the peg, setting up and just put my, add a little quick marker around, as you'll have seen, and I've just put my rods out. Um, the bottom here is, you know, really hard, so I was trying to find some, you know, less harder spots, you know, a little bit, so not soft, but, you know, something that didn't crack down like a brick. Um, again, as well, with some information I've got from a, from a couple of people um, about this peg that I've fished it before, you know, taking, just taking it into account, not, you know, following what they're doing, but just kind of incorporating it into, um, you know, how I go about looking around and uh, found some really good um, topography maps. Um, so I've taken that into account and I put my rods in three areas for now, which I think, you know, are relatively good. Um, I was pimping up some hook baits for two days with a, a drop of Tigan oil and some of the sticky krill, cloudy uh, krill um, liquid. And yeah, so I haven't put any bait out yet. I've literally put the singles out for now. Uh, I've had a couple of knocks on, on each, well, two of the rods. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited. I wanted to get here, get the bivvy up, you know, first thing before them heavens opened up and absolutely, you know, obliterated everything. So yeah, I'll show you the, my peg that I'm in. So this is peg five. I have got, I don't know if you can see the marker, just where the branch of that tree is, there's a marker just out there. Um, I can't really see it from here actually. Oh yeah, there it is. Just see it there. A little marker post there. And then I've got up to the other marker post, which is just in there. That one there, there you go. So all of this water here is mine to use. Um, there's some really good features in in this little little thing. Peg four, which is the next peg to my left, got um, you know some big bars, but 
judging by some really old maps that I've got my hands on uh, of the lake, uh, there's a massive bar running around right down the back on the bank and you know kind of into open water so uh, I've got one of my rods on that on the left hand side I've just brought it quite short in just on a, on a single Ronnie rig with a, um, with a with a pop-up on you know a dark colored pop-up um, and then the left hand rod is over towards the reed line there's, there's a bit, almost at the back of the bar kind of thing um, there is a bit of weed in front of my peg here but it is what it is that's why I've got my rod tips pointed a bit further up than I usually would have them um, but you know I'm not gonna let that you know um, hinder me as such uh, I've got the rods out we're here for 24 hours so I'm gonna see how we get on um, the rigs I'm using today I'll go through in a little while as well as you know the the, the hook baits that I'm using on each rig and um, we'll cover that off in a little while but for now I'm gonna get myself a brew on and have a nice drink of coffee before the heavens open up um, but yeah we'll see how we get on hopefully hopefully fingers crossed you know we we can make something happen today I'm gonna to be putting a little, little bit of bait out maybe a couple of spots in you know a couple of areas but not you know nothing major I'll also be pimping that up um, and I'll show you what exactly what I've done with that in a little while um, and you know, you know how long I did it for and we're also going to talk about the krill active which is what I've uh, based a lot of the stuff on today um, but yeah we'll uh, catch up with you in a little bit So, what I'm going to do now is just go over the rigs that I'm using in today's session, uh, the hook baits I'm using on them rigs, uh, the loose feed, you know, freebies that I'm putting out, and yeah, just, you know, general bait and tactics I'm using today. Um, I've actually got a different rig on each rod today, at the minute. Um, basically, it's a German style rig, if you like. It's a bit of a German rig, but I'm not using a curved shank hook. I'm actually using the um, Fox Wide Gape Straight Point in a micro barbed, and then I've literally got a micro ring rig swivel on there, um, and I've got a small, very small piece of putty just on the end there. That's a little bit long, but I wanted to have one of them a bit, a little bit longer, you know, um, just in case there was, you know, a bit of soft, soft silt or anything, you know, in the lead plugs in um, but yeah that's done me really well uh, in the last couple of weeks this rig uh, I've really found you know that the fish are nailed this is a rig I had um, when I caught my first carp from my new um, club water so yeah uh, one of my rigs or one of my rods shall I say is on one of those um, the rod that's just kind of halfway out is on a simple running rig. Now you all know what a running rig is, so you know I'm not gonna you know go into details on that. You know what it is, and it's got basically it's just got a bait screw on it um, with a what is it? It's a mainline spicy crab pop up on that. Um, so yeah, that's my second rod, and then. My third rod is on the ever faithful long hair hair rig. It is literally, I think it's probably as simple as you can get these days, uh, other than my tubing that I've added on there just to kind of make sure the uh, the hair exits where I want it to. And you might think they're really long, but I'm doubling up on hook baits. Um, on my last session on M Lake, which is the lake just um, over, over the other side there, um, I found by doubling up on certain, you know, using doubling up on baits, uh, really did manage to choose out the bigger fish for me. 
Um, but yeah, so literally this is just the JRC Cocoon. I've used it for ages and it is just soft coated braid. So it's, you know, still, still supple and, you know, I've stripped the end there um, just a little bit, you know, just to give it a bit more free movement. So they're the three rigs that I'm on today. Now, um, on Thursday, um, I put a load of hook baits in this little pot of mine, which is like my glugging pot, if you like. And I literally put in some of, literally a drop of the Cotswolds Creation Liquid Tiger Nut Oil. Literally, it is literally just a drop, you know, just to give it that oily. And then, uh, you know, a, a sparingly glug of the Cloudy Krill uh, Liquid. And I've, I've just been turning them, you know, every, you know, a couple of hours if you like when I've remembered just to coat them really nicely and uh, I've got in here I've got some of the sticky krill uh, dumbbell wafters I've got some of the sticky krill normal wafters I've got some sticky krill active bottom baits and I've even got a couple of the uh, the pop-ups that I've, that I've been using for you know a couple of years well a couple of years now it's the DNA S7 half tones, um, but I took one out today just as I got here, and I mean you can see just by looking at them that they are literally just oozing, oozing the attraction out. I'm trying to get that to focus in on there, um, and then you know I've got the wafters here, which are probably more likely to just be bottom baits now, but. You know, I'm not too fussed again, you know, it's super, super um, saturated in, in the oil and, you know, it smells divine. I didn't want to add too much of the Tigan oil because I wanted to keep that horrible, well, not horrible, I quite like it, but that, I wanted to keep that krill, strong krill taste, that smell, shall I say. And, yeah, I put one on each, but well, I say one on each as... Um, on the middle rod, I've, oh, I've got a single 16mm um, krill active bottom bait which I actually air dried um, for a day. And then I put a couple in here. I just wanted to firm them up a little bit. Um, now, for my loose feed and you know what I'm spotting out, I'm not you know going in trying to spot the granny out of it because I don't think you know at the minute that's not the right approach for me. Um, but a couple of days ago, I created this mix which is this and what we have in here is we've got some of the um, England Anglin pellets that I got some, some time ago they were 11 mil they were just plain um, I think they were Coppins um, pellets one or the other they, they were you know they were just general pellets these are some of the 16 mil krill active um, bottom baits then in there we've got some of the smaller eight mil uh, sticky krill pellets and then I've actually got some four mils in here as well um, as you can see there and what I've done with that is again similar tactic I put you know a cap full or two of the um, tiger oil just a tiny bit just to give it a you know a thick oil and then I put a good dousing of the krill cloudy krill liquid on there a good dousing of the cloudy krill liquid and i've been turning it for a few days and the the, the dry now these pellets they're not you know um wet if you like that they're still you know you can tell that they've taken on the liquid and then this morning i just added these uh air dried 16 millers and i've just been you know turning that to make sure it doesn't set and that's the mix that i'm using for today
Right, well, hello everybody, welcome back. So, it's uh, lovely weather. Um, just started to rain quite heavily, but it's all good. I'm in the bivvy, as you can see. And luckily the rain's kind of blowing that way, so it's not blowing into the bivvy, which, you know, is a massive help. I'll show you the lovely view. So yeah, it's pretty much me at the minute. Um, it's definitely not cold though. It's uh, still quite muggy and warm, but <clears throat> you know I think that's to be expected um, with this kind of weather. No actions on the rods as of yet, but if I'm being honest, I've expected it. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that it does more night bites than you know anything else. So. Yeah, I'm just sat chilling, kind of watching the water. Um, quite a bit of action going around, but you know, nothing major yet. Hopefully, with this oxygen increase, that'll do us some good. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So I'll uh, catch up with you again in a little while. Positioned all the rigs back into uh, the same spots, but you know, I just wanted to make sure you know that everything was all okay going into the evening. Yeah, I just wanted to reposition them just to make sure they're all you know bang on. And I put a little bit of bait, uh, a couple of spots over the middle one, and then just um, fired out some probably maybe six, seven around each, you know, the left and the right hand one and you know i'm not going to be touching them now well till tomorrow or until i get a fish um i'm happy with the spots they're in uh i have got a coot just over on that middle spotted area he's not been diving down too much so you know i know there's still plenty down there uh if need be you know i'll top it up as and when required kind of thing um might put two or three out just literally before um before dusk uh, as such and that's it really for tonight um gonna make myself some grub uh probably around about eight half eight just before dark and yeah let's see what the night brings hopefully um going by what a lot of people are saying at the minute is you know a bit more active at night so i'm hoping i have a sleepless night um but yeah we'll uh, catch up with you in a bit just falling now um, I've just literally put a little tiny bit more bait over uh, the areas that I've got my rigs uh, I put maybe three spawns out to my left hand rod uh, a couple onto the right uh, earlier on and then I've just put you know a handful and some uh, a few catapults of the uh, soap pellets to the one I've got just behind the weed bed here, so um, 
that's all I can really do for the night now so I'm gonna get some food on the go now and then that's done before it's dark and then just sit and wait see what happens um, hopefully hopefully you'll see me with a fish before you see me in the morning uh, I really do hope so and if not you know that's just how it goes sometimes isn't it so yeah right I'll catch us in the morning or later on Well, good morning everybody, welcome back. It's quarter past six in the morning. Um, I had quite a few bleeps in the night. Um, but no fish. Uh, it was absolutely hammering it down for most of the night. So I've been up about an hour, uh, just been watching the water. Um, I noticed that one of my bobbins on the right, uh, the right hand rod was, was completely out of you know position kind of thing so I just re-chucked that this morning. There is no rain yet but it has just started to spit a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a, a coffee. a few freebie offerings around some general areas of you know where I've had or where I've seen fish and you know above my bait kind of thing above my rig but yeah we'll uh, see how the morning goes <laughs> Unfortunately, didn't manage to get one of the carp from Q Lake on my first session, but you know, that's just how it goes. I came home, well, we dropped off about 10 as it started to rain as it has now. Um, hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, I had beeps all through the night, but you know, there's nothing materialised. Right now, I'm going to get this lot away, have a nice shower, some grub, and yeah, that's it. If you did like it, please do, you know, hit that like button and definitely do subscribe and hit the bell notifications to see the next session. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one.